We don't got the key. I ain't buying what he's selling. You get him to give it up. It's the stage master. Help! Hey, shut up. Get out of here. Act like you never saw this. Hey, hey, isn't that? Shit, it is. Arthur Morgan himself. Ah! Ah! Mister, I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You've done me a service. Hey, look. The stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. Got that right. to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. Hey, brother. Hey, Mr. Mr. Arthur. Why are you always so mad? You're crazy. All that shooting. And they said I was crazy. I'm not crazy. Not like you. You beat up the big fella. <laughs> he once beat me up. I asked for it. You think you're real crazy, mister? Are you really calling me crazy? I fought in a war, mister. I did. Sent me strange seeing all them... fellas die. Which war was that, exactly? A bad one, Mr. Arthur. Oh, a real bad. There's good wars? Uh, I... I saw terrible things. I ain't been the same since. Uh, I get... I get... funny. I'll go now. Don't act crazy now. Move! <laughs> Hey, buddy! Hey, mister! Mister! I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother. But I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad. Like when your puppy passed. Because you slept on it. What's your name, mister? Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him, on account of his name. It's a fine name. A strong name. Like a king. 
You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Uh, yes, you could. Uh. I'm real hungry here. Hey, buddy! Can I get a buck, mister? Morning, friend. Sure. Thank you! Oh, thank you, mister! Help a fella out! Hey, brother! Hey there, mister! Hey there! Mind if I join you? Mind if I... if I talk to you? Fellas sometimes Careful, mind, big guy. sometimes they don't mind, and ain't no way of knowing. I don't mind. Oh, I like you. You're kind. I like kindness. I ain't so kind. Now, that ain't true. Ain't true at all. Most folk won't spare me the time of day. But you did. You did. And it was real nice. Real nice. Can I... Can I hold you, mister? Whoa. I'm... <laughs> I got a woman. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, mister. I didn't mean nothing by it. I just kind of like folk. But most folk don't like me. Ah, uh, no harm done. Ain't ever harmful to be held, mister. Only, most folk find me creepy and, and strange, uh, which ain't nice. I uh, guess not. What's your name? John. Or, uh, Jim. You don't know? That's funny. <laughs> you used to know a fella a bit like you. A few years back, crazy kind of fellow. But he had a heart on him. What was his name? I forget. Funny face. Alan. Or something, I think. He didn't like me much, neither. But he was okay. I think he died. They always do. The good ones. He weren't a good one. He was, well, he was good and bad, and it's hard to say quite what he was in the end. That's so. Sure. That's so. I can kind of see that. Well, it's been fun talking, mister. My name's Mickey. Maybe I'll just stay here forever. Waste away like some fallen leaf. Crinkle up. Wouldn't that be nice? You care about this girl? Stand up for yourself. She'll come around. 
Yeah? I've been waiting. Trust me, kid. There ain't so many good men out there. Make yourself one of the good ones. Thanks, mister. I hope you're right. All right, man. Okay. Till then. Interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? Hey, a real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! Easy, man. Ah, yes! Woohoo! Yes! Haha! <laughs> All right, feller, you shot a bottle. Don't go filling yourself up on it. Ah, uh, don't take it too hard. How about we raise the stakes and you try again, All right, let's huh? do it. Aha, uh -huh, that's a good call, amigo. All right, real simple. First one to hit four flying birds wins. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Can shoot, huh? <sighs> ah, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. Look where you're going. See. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Easy. Yeah. I won't have yeah. it, no. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, are you there? Please help me! Got out! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, my God! That animal is a goddamn menace! You saved me far enough to be a I was almost a deal there. <laughs> Some scrap or, or something. Oh, oh, Mister, you. I thought I was gonna be all go. Oh, oh, I thought I was gonna be a goner. Oh, you. You can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Oh. Whew. 
Here, <sighs> this will help with the pain at least. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Yes, yes, oh. oh. We'll have a field day over this back in town. For days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. Easy enough. Oh. oh, oh, yes. Yes. Perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm hmm. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Well, some drunk's been hoarding his money in this little place south of Rhodes, down by the river. A lot of money, and very drunk. At least that's what they say. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. Twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. No. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Yep. Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining, but does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <laughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now, but I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains, something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left, especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him, bottle in hand. Oh, we're getting close now. Here we 
go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. Have some respect. Just leave me be. alone in these parts, especially looking like you. Don't want any trouble. Just passing through. You look like you might need a few smacks to set you straight. Here's a private affair. No, I've been kidnapped! Help! 
won today! Are you really going to leave me tied up like this? Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. All oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all thank right, you... ma'am. It's over now. Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head farming. We're still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? Wait, <laughs> look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine, starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go into town, not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Hmm. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going. Appleseed ain't out here getting mauled by wolves. We lost two men already. What's your good for nothing, cowards? Yeah, yeah. You call yourselves lumbermen, you afraid of us few damn critters? Oh. It's a forest. What the hell do you expect? Oh, yes, yes. Maybe you're the man I need. Can you believe these lazy lily livers? Refusing to work on account of a few little wolves. They've been attacking workers on the south side of the camp. We need a real man to get rid of them. What do you say? You'll be very well rewarded. All right. If you're paying, I should be able to take care of that for you.
I assumed from all the gunshots and howling, you got some good news for me? Yep, it's done. Whew. That's a relief, I'll tell you. Excellent work. Money's right there on the table. Don't mention it. Me and wolves go way back. I'm leaving. Don't work too hard. There ain't much danger of that with this bunch, my friend. All right, you lazy bastards! Get back to work! Now! The wolves are gone, so no more excuses. Help! Help! Oh. I need assistance! Please! Sir, please stop all I beg you! I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't yeah, think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Well, after you. What possessed me to come out here, I'll never know. <laughs> What are you doing out here anyway? It clearly ain't your nap. Natural habitat. I uh, don't know, I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here, after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no, no offense. Little taken. Oh, yes. This does look familiar.
close to town. You've rescued me from the depths! You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Arthur, they got Bill. What? Who has? Bounty men. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. Okay, girl. You coming? All right, lead the way. So how'd you find him? He said he was going hunting. Never returned. I was able to track them pretty easily. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp. I head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're in sights again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? I think it is, Arthur. Well, let's save his ass first. Worry about how to kick it later. up in a nice warm cell. Then you can talk all you want. <laughs> I'm ready when you are, Arthur. Hey! Their friends hey, out of the way! Get the ropes. Thanks, Xavier. I owe you for this. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. Looks like a pretty nice horse you got there. 
I paid top dollar for this beauty. Fast as a bullet. Want to see how yours compares? I'll race you to Diablo Ridge, all right? You're on, feller. All right. Let's go! Yeah. for you. All right, I'll Jeez, do elsewhere. Still lost. What the hell did you pay for that horse, anyway? <sighs> Enough to make you sick. You're just a bad rider. An expensive horse won't change that. Let's go, girl. Yep. I'd run into you again. Hey, partner, what do you say to another race, seeing as you got lucky last time? How about a race to Awanjilla? Why not? All right, let's go! Yeah.
Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Look out, will you? Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall. A shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. $20 ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. <gasps> That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Well, good luck to you. Seems a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Hmm. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Well, shit. Thanks, I guess. I couldn't have drawn it prettier, no sir. Oh, uh, hey mister! Remember me? Come on over! How you doing today? Well, you see this here? American ginseng. Take a feller from not too bad to hardy as buck in no time. Really something. Yep, you don't find this every day. Dose this in your medicine, give it some zip. Believe me. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. Anyway, I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. You take care now. Oh, fine eye, mister. familiar with this here, mister? With this plant, burdock. Ugh. I use the roots to make medicine for my horse. It's better than anything you'll buy in those fancy catalogs. Good for you. Why are you telling me this? Just a friendly tip, man to man. Nothing more, nothing less. Well, I'm off to see what else I can find out there. Good luck to you.
help a blind man. There you go. That which is killing you will help you finally to see. And see clearly, friend. See and hear. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. causing trouble. Yeah, I've I seen things. I seen bad things. I saw my brother die. Then I saw my friends die. And I, I saw my leg. Good morning. Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? Sure. Well, thank you. Say, See, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from right here. Yeah, it was you I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, they reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. Hey there, man. Oh, all you bastards, buy me a bad Come on. No intrusion. This man deserves no earthly respect from us. As a sign of respect to our creator. Morning to you. Hey. Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh, <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. Now, I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, <laughs> I wouldn't know what day it was. Yeah, but you... Man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. Three, three years ago, I lost my leg and I've been hopping ever since. Never would have seen it coming. Yes, Morning. indeed. <laughs> hey! Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. But, uh, what you doing here? Just visiting old friends, I guess. Well, you better get out of here. There's a, there's a bunch of government agents I met asking about you all across town. Yeah, them and a bunch of bounty hunters, too, I think. Uh, so? Yeah. Yeah, but you don't seem too scared. Guess not. Well, they seem pretty mad. <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing good. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, you better get out of here. <laughs> uh, I just need a quick word, please. The whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. I need to get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just need it done. All right, calm down. Let me see what I can do. Oh, thank God. Just be sure not to bang around the place too much. I'll wait out here.
Kill those bastards! Thanks, mister. Take this. Who earned every cent. I killed worse. Time to end this nonsense and let us vote once and for all. Good morning. You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> Are you well? Oh, just splendidly. Thank you. Trying to rob a sick man? I was trying to help. <laughs> Bullshit, you was. You move and I shoot you. Still now, I need to focus. Lord have mercy! Whoa! Hey, hey, come back! Oh no! This is really nice of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, accept my thanks as reward. I won't forget this. Sure, mister. Hey there, partner. What do you want? I'm not sure. 
then become a king. But I didn't know what I wanted. Then I realized I could become a king. <laughs> I've been happy ever since. His majesty is always happy. You're happy with the trees? Elated. <laughs> In a regal sort of way. <sighs> you peasants wouldn't understand. I'm looking for Gavin. He's my best friend. He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Someone must have seen an Englishman. <laughs> really funny he is. <laughs> Hello. Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad. Give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Maybe he just left. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! How are things treating you? Oh. I am so worried. Gav! Careful there. Gav! Uh, Gav! Just Where are me. you? Hey! Oh, you... All right, come. Oh, I'm only rattling the cage. Why aren't you just back? It's not funny! I, come back to me! I can't believe this! I thought we were friends. I thought we were going to conquer America together. Please! Gav! Seriously, Gavin! He's my best mate, and he's gone. My best mate, gone. We... He's left me. Gavin! Evening. Please, tell me you've seen Gavin. I don't even know what he looks like. Big bloke. Cockney. Londoner. Hilarious. <laughs> oh, we've had such times, me and Gav. <laughs> no, sorry. I've yet to meet any hilarious Londoners. Oh, he's the best. Gavin! Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you?
You can see the bind I'm in. I need help again. Come on. Okay, okay, fine. I know this doesn't look good, but I swear I didn't do nothing wrong. All right. God, Second time yes. is a charm. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought they were never coming off this time. I'd be done without you, that's for sure. I'll owe you till the end. Maybe someday I'll make it up to you. In some way. If I'm ever looking to collect, I'll just hang around the sheriff's office. I'm sure you'll show up sooner or later. You got the wrong feller. I ain't political. If you wasn't political, you wouldn't be no federal tax collector. I ain't federal. It's a state poll tax. But y'all won't take the time to learn the difference. <laughs> I ain't gonna listen to your lies. <gasps> You're free, my friend. You have no idea how thankful I am. You ain't home and dry yet. Run along. I know. I think they hid my things in one of those boxes. Sir, they're yours. Might just be a hero, me. Good luck to you. Go get yourself something to eat. What's up? I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. Let's go, girl. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. Open your eyes! Doctor! Please, do something. I'll get you help. Just stay alive. Okay. Okay, then, girl. Okay. Oh, ah! Must stay awake. Where? Where am I? Don't you give up now? Watch out, I'm dying. This is it. My arm. 
hear it anymore. Jesus, unbelievable. Increíble. All right, friend. All right, we're at the doctor. Hey there. Oh, good God. Quickly, bring him in here. Right here. Sit him down in this chair. What happened? Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. This wound's badly infected. Ah! I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. Uh, there you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. Sorry it's come to this. Ah, oh, Jesus! Well, you're in a bad way, but you'll pull through. Time, place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. I gotta do something. All right. Where is she? She's a sack down in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Uh, I go about finding more help. Uh, hey, y'all. I need help. Sorry, oh, I weren't please, here soon. Please. Oh, 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 thank the Lord you showed up when you did. You saved my honor. Christ, what a mess. 
Would you please get them out of here? I can't stand to touch them, and I don't want them riding indoors. It ain't enough, but please take it. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. You're all right now, ma'am. It's over. Let's hope my horror is found another guardian angel like you. Oh! Help! Go in! If you don't leave, I'll blow a hole in you!
Headlight! Hey! I need some help. I don't know this place well. A sense of direction. It ain't good. Hey! Where's the train station? Going around in circles here. Get! Head on that way. You'll find it. You are a gentleman, sir. Get on. Oh, you kind, mister. Okay, girl. If he uh, be so kind to take me to LeGras, that's where I'm from. That's where I'm... My people is from. Sure, oh, that's fine. Don't normally trust no outside man. No offense, mister. Just don't trust them much. Right, all right, ma'am. I don't trust them much either. You seem like a horse rider? Yeah, your whole life, I bet. Horse don't help much in Lagrano. Need a horse can swim fine as a duck be much more used to us. Last horse we bust, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came and ripped his leg off. The horse just wobbling in the water, another gator came in, took the other leg. Then the horse fell and died for a part time. could come by with a rifle on him. I is no word of lie. Jeez. You sure it's the horse that's the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. Where was it? Legras? Well, that's how life is. Hmm. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. We getting close, don't die or not. Okay, here's good. Thank you, mister. Please let me give you this on account of you being so kind. Well, anyway. I hope I'd never have to be on that horse again, dang animals. with these animals you're my savior sir what the why don't you mind your business and keep walking huh don't have to tell me twice. We said get lost, now! Told you once! God, no! Hope you boys chose a full safe.
a bad haul. It's my life. It's... Oh, hey there. Why, why don't you join me and have a seat over here by, by the fire? Oh. By the fire. Mm. <laughs> Bone dry. Sins? I'm carrying around. You won't even believe. But if I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little, I might I might tell you. Here. Hmm. hmm. Only fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. You're... You're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. Slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well. Them government boys. But the money don't last long. Uh-uh. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. I know no the field. Uh, I was a, a uh, young man then, but I still see them faces clear as yesterday. I do. Well, that's hard, partner. I might risk the old last minute feeling. Very sleepy all of a sudden. Hello, mister. You must be real lonely out here, friend. So, you hungry? Huh? I got food. I got food inside. Come along. Now come here. Don't you hate old Sonny now? Don't hate him. Oh, you struggled, and you lost. But it was quite a tussle, I tell you. Quite a tussle, my pet. <laughs> See? Friendship ain't so tough. And neither is you.
not you again. Got big mouths, don't you? Bet you wouldn't miss some teeth. Goddamn lunatic! Don't move! Let's get those hands up nice and high! <laughs> Works every time! Absolutely overrun with rats. Worse than last time. Much, much worse. I can't get near the damn things. Scurrying around. But I need them gone. I'll pay double from the last time, huh? Yeah? Jesus, fella. Won't say no to the money, though. Oh, thank God. Head in there, but please, please, try not to destroy the place. <laughs> Well, shit. Thank you, mister. You're in this, that's for sure. You got it. Better be the last of them. I don't think I can handle otherwise. What 
Wish whiskey grew on. Come on. The truth is, mister, our last batch of shine didn't turn out so good. You think you can help us with locating some ingredients? We could reward you for your troubles. Why not? World could always use more moonshine, right? I saw some milkweed nearby. Oh, yeah? I have some with me. Go on, lazy bones. Toss the plants into the batch so we can test it out. I'm gonna give this a taste. That ain't right with shine, not at all. Tastes like licking liniment. That ain't good at all. Ah, oh, well, can't win them all. We'll try again later. Damn. We got a rare victual in that chest there. Take it. I'd say you earned it. Appreciate it. Next time, see That's you around. That, Ben. State your side, sir. North or south? State well, your I side. Sure ain't shoot. from the south. Lucky for you. Captain Hayden Russell, 29th Amberino Volunteer Infantry. Do you bring news from General Scarlet? Who's General Scarlet? I'm awaiting orders. We will move on Lemoyne soon and take Saint Denis from the rebels. You do know what year it is, right? What kind of question's that? 1862, April 14th. Now move along, civilian, and watch yourself. Johnny Reb's in the area. for my gratitude. Please. Appreciate it. Be careful now. Sounds and ease breeds sickness. So much for the future. I may not speak the whole truth, but I speak some of it. Do you want to hear your fortune, sir? Here. This is now the time of machines, the time of things. 
The time of man came and went as all things pass. As all things pass, my friend. Okay, thanks. Travel safe. Could you free me, please? You're one of the good ones, ain't you? Thank the Lord for that. Will you get me out of here? Will you get me away from these men? Anything I can do to help you in your time of need, man. I'm in residence at Hansburg. That ain't too far. Not at all. Come on. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. This was your first dust up with those bastards. This weren't my first run in with those crazy hill folk, if that's what you mean. Never too long before they make themselves known. Whenever their appetites grow past what they find in the hills. Still, poor Bradley. He wasn't the brightest nor the bravest, but. Oh my, no one deserves that. Bradley? Was he the fella with you? Yeah. Bradley Hunt, old friend of my cousin's, is taking me home. Guess he thought he could talk himself out of the situation with them. Busy worrying about his own skin, huh? Doesn't sound like much of a man. Maybe, maybe not. Good men, it's hard to come by around these parts, though. Real men ain't like fellas in the books I read. <sighs> Just hope I can trust you, mister. Sure. We're getting close now. It's nice, riding like this. Almost makes me forget about what happened.
Hello, mister. He won't leave me alone. Like I asked him, but he, but he won't. Very abandoned. Very ignored. See, I, I asked for, for a message, and he gave me the whole world, but no signal I can understand. All these, all these people, and, and none of them quite right. That's very frustrating. The, the whole world. Wasn't that enough? No. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough at all. That's a problem. I'm so... I'm so greedy. I, How awful. Oh, hold your fire! Hold your fire! We're here, Sheriff. And we got the money! You're gonna bring him out! We rode a long way, and not just to shoot up the jailhouse! You don't want to disappoint us, Sheriff. Oh, oh my. Oh my. If it wasn't for you, sir, if it wasn't for you, whoo. How lucky we are. The hero we so required. Armadillo is indebted to you. Though I fear it may be beyond saving. I don't know what you made of that, but it was a close thing. And in light of that, and the sad demise of this settlement, I am resigning my post. Now you will see that I have packed my valise, but the accoutrements of my profession remain in my desk. Glad I was able to help you out of that, Sheriff. Said you won't stick around. Well, so long. I must see about a train. Plague! We got plague in town! Plague back in town! Hey, mister. Hey, friend. Place is full of cholera. Head in there at your own peril. Well, half the town has died, most of the rest have fled. Still? Sure. A few years ago, it was the scarlet fever. Then it was the desert plague. Then typhus. Now the cholera. Bad business. Some folks say the whole town is cursed. All town's got cholera! Here. You can read for yourself. Thank you. The town is sick. Stay away. Stay away. You are a gentleman, sir. Please, take this for your trouble. 
<laughs> That's kind, mister. Thank you. You were good to help me, and I never forget a favor. You have saved us. Thank you. Sure, sure. Now get out of here. Find somewhere safe. Hey! Let's go, girl. It's me. I need your help. Again. Crazy in the head! Hurry up! Anyway... I've got another problem. Well, same problem. Oh, the goddamn men in this town! You have to help me, please! All right, all right. Take it easy. Thank you! Quick, this way! I can't believe this happened to me again! Careful, big guy. Watch yourself. The pastor has been preaching more and more against drink and getting everyone all wild up. These bastards think they can rough up a girl, but I ain't having it. Please help me. Oh, Lord, if they find me with another body. I can't believe this is happening again. Just dump them in there with the pigs again. No one found that last feller. God, I have the worst luck. Did you do it? Please tell me you did it. I'm here without a body. Thank you. Thank you. I promise I won't do it again. You know, you might be the only good man in this whole town. Mary Beth. John? John, is it you? How the hell are you? Uh, I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Abigail, is she? She's well. Jack's growing up. Sweet boy. Not anymore. <laughs> but he's okay. How are you? I'm well. I, I'm right now. Silly romances, but it's fun. Oh, it's such fun. <laughs> Do you? My pen name is Leslie DuPont. It's sort of French, sort of ambiguous. Well, the books are unambiguously awful, but they sell. Good for you. I'm so proud. I still think about you all. That was... That was quite a time. Yeah. Arthur. Arthur saved my life before he passed. I don't talk about him much, but I think about him. Me too. And Dutch? <laughs> Ran off someplace. All aboard. Such a shame. Last call. Oh, anyway, John, I better get on my train. It's really lovely seeing you. Oh, here. 
is for you. Thank you. Take care now. Bye. I'm looking for my friend. We was in the cabin, and he went out to get firewood, but he got lost in the storm. I'm getting real worried, mister. I was searched everywhere. Would you help me look for him? All right, I guess so. Where are we looking? You're a good man. Bless you. I I'm going to keep looking around the cabin. That's why I last saw him. If, if you could search the wider perimeter, I'd really appreciate it. Find anything? Yeah. Uh, he's up in the hills a ways, over a rock. Listen, friend, you might not want to see him. Oh, Tucker? Oh, God. You okay, girl? Let's go. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. <laughs> 